Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Welcome back to the channel, guys. And we're looking at Portia. Yep, Portia and that long-ass hair of hers. And nobody really believes it's hers. I don't know why she's thinking the thought. But I think this is when she came back from Dubai. Yes. After Simon and her celebrated Simon's big old happy birthday. Yes. Number 58. But we think it's 68. He had a more fabulous birthday than Portia had. I wonder why, Portia. I wonder why. Why did you settle for a half ass birthday party? That you put on social media, of course. But you gave Simon, your boyfriend, a very elaborate type of birthday send-off. Because I guess y'all left your birthday, or his birthday, and went to Dubai. Now, was it business or pleasure? Was it business or pleasure? That's what we want to know, honey. Because we nosy over here. Alright? But... I did notice Simon had his uh, plain suit, which was wonderful. But I saw he was wearing them buckled shoes again. So evidently he hadn't learned anything. And he's going to have to stay in his world because we're not giving him any more time of how to dress, to impress. We're not going to go there. We're going to let him stay simple-minded with simple people that he shops at simple stores. Okay, but he's a billionaire. Okay, he's a billionaire. Now, this was in Dubai. Now, you can tell when people ain't used to anything because they do all of this. They don't do it for their memories, for their family memories to put in a scrapbook. They do it for the gram. Yes, Portia and Father Time has to do everything for the gram. And like I said, you can see why. All these Illuminati symbols, too. Something's up with that. But anyway, um... Yeah, don't know why Portia and Father Time had to take all these impressive pictures because it was beautiful. But why didn't they keep it to themselves? Why have us? You want us to vicariously live through your life, Portia? Father Time, is that what you're saying? But it was one picture in this particular one. I hope I included it. Y'all tell me when you go over to another country or whatever. Do you have to uh, have your shoes off and you're walking downstairs or whatnot? Because the little place that they stayed, I saw Simon coming down in his suit. Still dressing. His, that's the one right there. Do you see that brother ain't got on no shoes? He has no shoes. I mean, that's just nasty. That's just pure, unadulterated nasty. How many floors? How many People don't walk on that same floor. It's not like this is your house and you can kind of see the comings and goings of people or whatnot. Now, I've heard of people who have nice carpet or nice wooden floors and they don't want it scuffed up or they don't want nobody to spill nothing on it. And they ask you to take off your shoes, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, but Simon is walking barefooted. Now, of course, this is the party that they were at and I don't know what. Shamia is doing it's like Shamia being a hoe now showing all her assets and Portia done kind of sort of covered up but I left these pictures out that I needed to feed back in because I want to show y'all something else too the position of Portia's mom okay but there's Peter there's Shaba man and of course there's father time I don't know who the white man is but he is in the midst of all blackness okay all blackness. And he probably still winning. Still the top dog at the Simon show. Okay. But those were happy birthday Simon. All his little people were there. Or Portia probably pulled them out of the street or something. Because it looked like Simon didn't know half the folks he was uh, calling himself with either. 
hopefully they had all they all had the over test and nothing will come of it all right but yes that's the elaborate birthday party that and you see those big old shrimp crabs i'm like where do you get that from i don't like stuff that's too big it's like they've been experimented with it. and then you get all these different cancers and stuff because you've been partaking of big ass fruit or, or, or meat or, or fish like that you, you see what i'm saying but yes portia went out out for him but he didn't do shit for her and see that's what made me mad i mean he came in the rose royce or one of his calls that he got sitting at his house uh from one of his peoples that i don't know because i'm still trying to figure out how he's being able to house those cars at his house living in the subdivision. Now, this is the picture I want to tell y'all about. You see the position, Diane? She ain't close to him, so she must have got the memo. Don't get close to Simon, okay? Then we got her taking another picture with Portia, but she's behind her daughter, where she should have been all the same time. And you see, um, that's the restaurant by Pasha, Pasha, something like that very very uh nice digs okay so yes all for simon g all right for all the time aka papa smurf but if you remember in my past videos uh we saw portia no actually portia it was during portia's family matters i believe that we saw her birthday party and it was nothing like this that's his favorite look uh of choice he likes and you could see um how it's being chilled and waited for him to come and be the guest of honor and things of that nature but yeah portia went out for this honor and this is in dubai and i guess they're sweet or whatnot they're giving them all those uh i guess complimentary uh toiletries to use of course and uh i guess the hotel that they stayed at was very ex very expensive okay like nobody else can go there anybody can do everything you and portia do if we wanted to okay just keep in mind everyday ordinary worker folks can reap the same benefits as you all we may have to do it a little harder meaning work and save a little bit more but we can take those trips too but i like the position diane is in she's from simon yes keep listening to me diane keep listening you might pull up one day you might be back in my good graces but i like the optics and thank you for giving it to me okay but uh yeah yeah uh it seems like simon was ready to eat he done got off his diet well i know he don't probably put 20 pounds on from going to dubai eating everything he wants to he might i don't Oh, he might have got a stomach uh surgery you know what i'm saying where it's, it shortens or it um uh, tightens up on your stomach but you see nene over there and shopper man uh i don't see lauren there okay i don't see lauren but i see uh shamia's tits out and i'm like whoo child we get one of them straightened out and then the other one act up but we ain't got too much to say about shamia she's not one of our favorite people anyway okay um, but yeah, that's what happened in Atlanta. They had that beautiful uh, shindig of a birthday party for Simon. And then they flew off to Dubai. And you can see how Portia's dressing. Isn't she dressing kind of matriotic? I'm like, don't know where she's going with that long ass, hot ass dress. But maybe it was kind of cool where they were. But I know she ain't wearing them skimpy. And as you can see, she's covered all the way up from the head to the toe. From the head to the toe, I'm like, oh, you got my memo, girl. Or maybe uh, Father Time Tribe told her, baby, you can't dress like that when you're trying to become in our culture. We don't get down like that. It's kind of disrespectful for you to be out here when you're comings and goings and dressing like a hoe or whore, they probably said. And I was like, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, goodness gracious. Ooh, child. Somebody told her because it showed one her mama. Somebody of Simon's side of the family or friends of Simon that we never get to see probably told her, baby, you can't dress like that. That's somewhat, uh, somewhat acceptable, but you're going to have to probably have the boobs uh, kind of, sort of, a little bit more covered. We need to see the cleavage just a little bit. Not all of them. Not that deep cleavage. 
cleavage thing you've been having going on where it looked like your breast can fall out any parts at any time of the day and it would be exposing for the negative but yeah honey i guess for all the time portia don't like the way he really looked because y'all can see what y'all talking about about his filter but he may got some botox i don't know but he looking younger than what he was looking on them other pictures that i had did compare and contrast through child but yeah they giving us the look of where they stayed because Portia not used to having money. She's not used to being around people that got money and don't want to flaunt it. You see what I'm saying? And then I would take her whole social media career out the window. Because when you with a millionaire, you would never know they're a millionaire. But the people that they come in contact with, they know who they are. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? When you come in a hotel scene or a restaurant scene and they call you by your last name that means you are a regular and you are a high baller but you don't like all the hoopla that goes around you know so almost like that richard greer that played in pretty woman you know how he everybody was just catering to his needs he didn't really have to ask for anything everything was at his fingertips because he frequent he frequently visits them or you know whether it's a restaurant whether it's a clothing store or a business arena they know who he is they know how much he's worth and they give him total respect even though everybody should get respect regardless but they get that extra touch of respect is what i'm saying okay but i wanted to know with this particular uh hotel you can't when you're in your hotel room if anybody know because i've never been to dubai before <clears throat> but i know my family members they're very resourced out and they do travel but this eagle is walking down them dirty ass floors with his bare feet Tell me, is it just something you can't have? Well, he should have some socks on if he couldn't be wearing shoes in the complex of where they're uh, laying, laying their head and, and relaxing or whatnot. So I couldn't go no place like that either. But you have to say, I have to take off my shoes. Because I ain't taking off my shoes. You don't know how many people have been tracing up and down them damn rugs and floors. Where you can catch in and everything. You see what I'm saying? But Simon, Father Time... Oh, okay. He walking around uh with um yeah, his bare feet. Okay, and Portia's just showing us everything of the optics she wants to give us of where she laid her head as well. And I did have another picture, I don't know what happened to it, of him sitting at a desk table. Or well, he's sitting at a table uh in that little room that they're in, the hotel room they're in. And like he was doing some business on the telephone. I'm like, Simon, if you don't stop this shit, just be natural, man. That's all you have to do is be a natural human being. And you may get some respect. You might even get um, verified. Because you're not coming off as warm and loving. And your damn show ain't coming off as no business, man. You front too much. You front too much for the gram. I'm just here to tell you. But I'm going to try to find that picture because I don't think it's in this video. Um, and I haven't seen it yet. I think it's, it has uh, ran its course with all the pictures that I in, implemented that I forgot to put in my other video just recently. So I'm going to find that one where he's sitting at the table or he's sitting at the desk with his damn suit on and his bare feet. I, I, that's, that's, that's piss poor that's piss poor mannerism and just piss poor knowing you just trying to get a, a shot for the gram like you're doing so i can tell you ain't got no money you 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 if you do have you new money well you don't know how to act you don't supposed to be taking all these damn pictures if it's the only thing is for you and your family to enjoy and see but y'all put everything on the damn gram now rich folks don't do that they don't do it. And I definitely know some rich folks, okay? They are one of the down-to-earth people. The ones that I know. Down-to-earth people you would never know. I mean, they dress in jeans. They dress in, like, worn clothes. They have gotten, you know how you wear some your favorite clothes so much. They don't got so warmed out. They just really comfortable. They almost fit like pajamas. That's the type I'm talking about that I know. Of course, they're doctors and lawyers. But, you know, still, they invest their money really well. Okay? And they just down or you would never know. I mean, that's half the time they don't even want name brand shit. You know what I'm saying? They'd be up in Walmart like we'd be up in Walmart. Trying to see what it make it do. And I guess that's why they got their money still. But that's Simon. Mm -mm. Nope, don't trust them. Don't trust them. 
Especially when he don't wear no shoes. Not what he don't even do that in his own house. He be running around with flip flops on and sandals. Then why are you gonna go to some place you don't really frequent that much? At least I'm not knowing that you frequent that much over there at Dubai. But just say caution thrown to the wind. Why would you take your feet, your naked feet, that could be uh, anything on the floor, it can puncture your feet or whatnot, or just a sanitary thing is out there. The sanit- I mean, do you think they sanitize them floors? Dude, do you think they sanitize, sanitize them floor? Oh, I mean, you and Portia, y'all just throw caution to the wind. Every time, every time y'all step out, think y'all doing something, and somebody got a one up you on one. Just say, no, that's not a good look. Why are you doing that? I mean, most of the time when you're out dealing with people in the world itself, when you come and take your clothes, especially when Ova came in, you had to, like, sanitize your clothes. You had to get them off of you at the time we first found out about Ova. They were saying, once you come home, from dealing with people, everyday jobs, you're working and everything, just try to go straight to um, your washer area and dump off your clothes because we, we really didn't know how it's really sort of transmitted to the masses in a sense. So that was one way of them saying uh, to keep contamination down. But you got all the time over there in another country sitting up there walking barefooted in a in a suit now he's still in the shirt he's still in the jacket he's still in the pants now wouldn't it be better for him if he would have took off that ensemble and got into something that's a little more uh comfortable you know like it's lint like that linen shit he got on there he can't seem to get more colors of he just keep wearing and wearing and wearing you know what i'm saying but you gonna just take go down them steps in your bare ass feet. That's that's nasty. That's pure nasty. Cause I bet you you wouldn't go to a, uh any nice way. He probably would. He no, his behind he probably would. So I just want to know: is that something that that's the custom that you can't walk around in socks or your shoes? You have to be barefooted. Child, please. But yeah, okay, that's all I got of this video, guys. Like, love, gotta have more. You know, I'm coming back with more. Because I had rested out there behind for a while. Because then he was cutting up. Okay, so I had to switch lanes. But I'm back in the first lane again. And we're going to ride and ride and ride. Till we get finished with them. Okay, we're going to keep our heads to the flow. And see what we can hear. What we can see, we're gonna come out the bushes on their asses. See what we can see, what we can report about, and I'll get it back to you guys. But other than that, I will see y'all next video. Bye bye.